Hello, and welcome to our mini training session for Salesforce.com. In this video, you will learn how to input a new lead, create a new task, and log a sales call. To begin, open your web browser and go to www.salesforce.com. Click on the customer login link and enter the username and password that you were given from your local chapter. You will now be on the main screen. To begin entering a lead, click on the Leads tab at the top of the page and then on the New button. Now, enter your name as the lead manager and your lead's first and last name and the company they work for. It's important to remember that the lead status box must remain open. At this point, you can enter any other additional information you have about your lead, such as their phone number or email address. You may also enter their street address in the section below. That's it! At this point, you can press Save at the top or bottom of the screen to save your new lead into the system. Now, let's try setting up a sales call, also called a new task. From the home screen, again click on the Leads tab and choose your lead from the list of recent leads. If your lead's name does not appear in the list, you may find them using the search option on the left-hand side of the screen. Once you are in your leads page, scroll down to Open Activities and click on New Task. Now you are on the New Task page. Enter your name in the Responsible field since you will be the one conducting the sales call. Now click the icon beside the Subject field to choose what type of call you will be conducting. In this case, we have already met the client and therefore are conducting a warm call. Now you can choose the status, which ranges anywhere from not started to complete, and a priority. It is important to remember the comments field below this, in which you can write any relevant comments about your client, such as when they are in the office. Now we will input a reminder for ourselves by checking the reminder box and inputting a date and time. That's it. We are now finished inputting our new task and can click Save at the top of the screen. Now we will demonstrate how Salesforce can help you when it comes time to actually make a sales call. From the home screen, click on the Leads tab and choose the name of your lead from the Recent Leads list or by using the search option. Now that you are on your leads page, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click on Log a Call beside Activity History. Now, write your name in the Responsible field and make sure that the Assigned To box contains your local chapter's name. Since this is a sales call, we will leave Call in the Subject field. We are now ready to actually make our sales call. At this point, you will use the Comments field to fill in any information you learn during your call, such as how receptive the client is to the Global Internship Program and what their needs are. If a follow-up call is required, scroll down to Task Information and schedule a new task by inputting the required fields. Again, your name will go in the Responsible field, and you can click the box beside Subject to choose whether it is a cold call, warm call. In this case, it will be a follow-up call. Now, click Save at the top or bottom of the screen. Congratulations! You've just used Salesforce to successfully enter a new lead, create a new task, and log a sales call. Thank you for joining us, and keep your eyes open for more training materials from Isaac Canada.